This is a uh, in a power supply application. I have a amplifier that just recently failed, and uh, the uh, let's see. I'll just draw a quick diagram here. This is the uh, transformer uh, in the amplifier. It's like, uh, I'll say, 220 volts on this side, and it's, uh, say, 3,000 volts on this side. Now, I need to get this AC converted to DC in order to run the uh, equipment, or the tubes. <clears throat> So one way to do that is to build a what they call a full wave uh, bridge uh, rectifier. If I can do this without uh, screwing it up too badly. Okay, and then this goes to a series of capacitors and so on and so forth to uh, filter. This is all ground, ground, et cetera. All right, so I've got, um, uh, so the AC comes in here, and this goes to uh, ground. So you've got basically four, four diodes, or four uh, components here that rectify the AC and make the DC. They call a full wave bridge. Ooh, <laughs> scary. Okay, thank you, Chris. Uh, this piece right here in the original amplifier was made out of a single diode. Uh, I subsequently uh, had a failure in that area and I replaced these diodes with a string of diodes in order to recreate or substitute because I just didn't have the uh, the, the old uh, diode, but it was a string of uh, 1,000 volt diodes that I put in here, and so a total of you know 3,000 volt uh, capable across that. You know, so you got a total of 12 diodes in use here. And recently, in a past weekend's activity, I managed to blow a string. So one of these strings got blown out, and at that point, you know, fuses started going away, and it was getting rather noisy in the shack. So I had to shut down. So uh, what I just started is a new project uh, effective this morning uh, was to, instead of three diodes, because I, did, I figured out that that's probably a little marginal when I'm, uh, when I'm trying, when I, out of here you get about 2,200 volts. You know, it's not enough of a margin. So uh, what I've done is now go on to a stack of four. So that gives me a 4,000 volt uh, capability. Okay. Okay. So when you do a series of diodes like this, uh, I've learned years ago that you need to make sure you get equal voltage across each diode. And you kind of force that by putting a resistor across each one to, uh, to balance it out. My drawing skills are horrendous. You notice right away. Okay, good. Each one of these resistors is, uh, in my case, I use 470,000 uh, ohms. So roughly 2 million ohms across this whole string. But the whole key here was to uh, you know, equally divide the voltage. Because if you have a condition where one diode gets a little more, a little higher voltage than the others, uh, that'll be a failure at some point. Uh, another thing that's recommended is you put a, a, a set of capacitors, very small, like 0.01 microfarad capacitors, across each one, each one of the diodes as well. So it gets to be a rather complex, messy kind of a, a circuit after a while with all this stuff hanging off. And you do this on a circuit board. Uh, hopefully uh, comes out relatively clean. And then this goes off to you know this point here, whatever. So now I've got a now I've got a diode string that's capable of handling four thousand volts. It should give me at least a I'll say a 30, 40, 50 percent margin uh, for any any uh, future issue. So that's what I did in my uh, uh, spare time this morning. I was out collecting parts and uh, I'm in the process of putting together a 
this new full weight bridge, which will be constructed by uh, each, each element will have uh, four diodes. So a total of 16 diodes, 16 470 K ohm resistors, and 16 of these 0.01 1,000 volt capacitors because you want to make sure the voltage rating is uh, okay. And these are only half watt uh, resistors because there's very little current here. When you get like 2 million ohms across, you know, whatever that's, 2,000 volts, it's, it's pretty low current. So you can get away with a half a watt resistor. So that's, uh, that's this uh, full wave bridge uh, circuit that I put together for this uh, amplifier. Okay, uh, any questions? Do I thoroughly confuse everybody? Okay. What's the value of the caps? I forgot. Uh, 0.01s. Oh, 0.01s, okay. Yeah, at 1,000 volts each. No, 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 the, the big ones. Oh, these. Uh, in this amp, I think I've got um, 210 <coughs> microfarads at 450 volts. And there's a string of these, too, by the way. I just made it simple. There's like six of them. So you end up with whatever, 210 divided by 6 is the equivalent capacitance at 450 times 6 gives you like 3,000, 4,000 volts. So it's you know, reasonable. This is, uh, this is how they do with an, an old uh, Alpha 78 amplifier. I've had this amplifier for you know, 25, 30 years and you know, with a few minor glitches, it still continues to work. It's the amazing thing. Okay, that's that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Any, any questions? Okay. Thank you.